Today, we will be looking at the health insurance coverage for year 2018 and we'll explore the plans offered by Blue Shield of California. In 2018, Blue Shield of California offers plans on exchange and off the exchange. They have PPO plans and the HMO trial plan. The HMO trial plans are relatively new, so I'll go over in more details and provide specifics for this type of plan later on in the video. Also, I will have specific summary of benefits for all of the plans offered by Blue Shield, and I will post links under this video. If you have a specific question or would like to get an exact cost estimate for your plan or you just need a friendly advice, please feel free to reach me directly anytime. I am an independent insurance agent in California. I also work with Covered California and will be able to help you with selecting a low cost or subsidized health insurance plan. Before proceeding with the video, I also want to clarify a few things. As of today, the ACA Affordable Care Act is still the law of the land. That means that this means that you would need to select the health insurance plan during an open enrollment. Also, the plans presented in this video are individual plans offered in California. As I promised, I'll go over the new Trio HMO Blue Shield plan. Obviously, this is an HMO type of plan, so you have to plan accordingly and use only in network providers. But planning ahead might save you lots of money. Compared to the PPO plan, the Trio HMO Blue Shield plans are way less expensive. Here's another piece of advice. If you can trade off the benefits of a PPO plan and get the Trio HMO instead, you will save yourself a lots of big bucks every month. Feel free to reach me directly and I'll give you an exact comparison of these two plans. Since the monthly premiums are very individual and depend on factors like age and zip code, I can't give specifics in this video, but I will be glad to provide a personalized code and comparison at no extra cost to you. Again, please watch this video until the end, as I will give away free tips and tricks that will help you choose a health plan and save money. Okay, so let's start with the basic. basics. There are four categories of health insurance plans, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. These categories show how you and your plan share the cost. Plan categories have nothing to do with the quality of care. There is also a catastrophic plan for those that qualify, and it's usually for those who are under the age of 30. Let's talk about bronze plans now. These are usually the high deductible plans. On average, your health plan pays 60% of your medical expenses and you pay 40%. I will go over the details for these plans shortly. Silver plans are the most popular ones on the market so far. On average, your health plan pays 70% of your medical expenses and you pay 30%. In some cases, individuals may qualify for an enhanced silver plan this means that when they choose a silver plan, they have, based on their income, enhanced out-of-pocket savings through lower co-pays, co-insurance, and deductibles. Individuals in the savings categories get the benefits of a gold or platinum plan for the price of a silver plan. These plans are only available on the exchanges. Feel free to reach me and I'll help you understand if you qualify for enhanced silver plans. Let's look at the gold plan now. Gold plans, on average, um, a health plan pays 80% of your medical expenses and you pay 20%. This plan does not have a deductible. And let's move on to the platinum plan. On average, your health plan pays 90% of your medical expenses and you pay 10%. This plan does not have a deductible. And now, let's take a look at a comparison of health plans for year 2018. Here are the metal categories and coverage for year 2018. There are a few things to remember. Benefits shown in blue are not subject to any deductible. White corner is subject to a deductible up to the first three visits. Copay is for any combination of services, uh, which includes primary care, specialist, urgent care, for the first three visits as well. After three visits, they will be at full cost until the medical deductible is met. Let's take a closer look. As I said, for bronze plans, you don't pay the deductible for the first three visits. The lab is $40 copay and is not subject to deductible. The annual wellness exam, which is preventative, is included at no extra cost. The copay for the primary care visit and urgent care is $75 and specialist visit is $105. This might be a good plan for those that are healthy and rarely go to the doctor. 
Obviously, if you need more care, you will have to pay more out-of-pocket money. The maximum out-of-pocket you pay is $7,000 for one individual or $14,000 for the family. Okay, so let's look at the silver plan. The silver plan has a lower deductible. There are no restrictions on how many times you can visit the doctor. And again, the area that is highlighted in light blue is not subject to deductible. You will pay deductible mostly when you are hospitalized. I will add the detailed summary of benefits under the video for the full description once is available. The gold plan has no deductible. The copays and coinsurance are lower than those for the silver plan. This plan costs more each month, but the insurance pays on average 80% of your medical cost and you pay the rest, which is 20%. The platinum plan has no deductible. The copays and coinsurance are lower than those for the gold plan. This plan costs more each month, but the insurance pays on average 90% of your medical cost and you pay the rest. Obviously, the platinum plan has the highest premium each month. If you are healthy and rarely go to the doctor, it might not be a good idea to buy the most expensive plan on the market, right? Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, I'll share some secrets with you about selecting a health plan that will fit your needs and save money at the same time. So how do you decide which plan is right for you? Start by thinking about your past and future medical bills. For example, let's say you're healthy most of the time and don't expect to need costly medical services during the year. Then a bronze plan that has the lower price tag and pays for a lower portion of your eligible medical bills may be a good choice for you. On the other hand, let's say you know you have a medical condition that will need care, or you have an active family with children who play sports. Then a gold or platinum plan that pays for more of your medical costs may be a better fit for you. Also, it is very important to look at the summary of benefits for any plan you are seriously considering. This document tells you what medical services the plan pays for and, perhaps most important, those it does not pay for. Make sure you like the plan type. For example, a health maintenance organization or an HMO will require you to have a primary care doctor and get referrals for any specialist you want to see. A preferred provider organization or a PPO will give you more leeway in choosing doctors. Also, check the plan's provider network directory to make sure your primary care doctor is listed, if you want to keep that doctor. You can also call your doctor's office and ask whether they accept the specific plan you are considering. Check the plan's drug formulary, which is the list of covered drugs, to make sure any prescription medications you take are included. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment under the video. Love this video? Don't forget to share your happiness with your friends. And please, please support us by subscribing to our channel. Let's talk money. Hope to see you again.